Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I am here today with my home fragrance empties. So this is Scentsy as well as Vendor Wax. I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you for tuning in. I hope you're all having an awesome day. Before I get started going over my empties, I just wanted to say a big thank you. If you reached out and told me happy birthday the other day, I had so many people tell me happy birthday or comment on the trips I took in October and just your kindness is so, so appreciated. And I just wanted to say thank you from the bottom of my heart. Thank you so, so very much. Um, and to Diane, Jason and Natalie, thank you so much for the birthday gifts. Jason purchased some L3 wax for me, so I will have a haul of that coming soon. Diane sent me a gift card and then Natalie sent me this big birthday box, which I have not yet unpacked yet. We will be unpacking that live on Friday, October 27th, where we're going to play bingo. So please join us on that live if you guys want to hang out. So it's myself, Natalie, Diane, and Charity. Um, we're going to have fun open my birthday box from Natalie, play bingo, win prizes. I think the last one went really well. So if you haven't got your numbers in, go comment on Natalie's community tab with your numbers if you are going to play that night. But again, just a huge thank you to every single one of you that reached out to me. I so, so appreciate it. So this is empties for the last three weeks or so. Obviously, I have been out of town quite a bit, so I don't have as much stuff. Couldn't melt on the cruise ship, but I did melt on our Tennessee hiking trip. So I'll share those blends um, that I melted during that trip as well. But yeah, let's get started with Scentsy first. Then I'll move into Vendor Wax, and I will have timestamps in the description box of all the different vendors. So if there's only one that you're interested in, or if you're just interested in Scentsy, then you can skip right to that. So I have a couple pods to start with at first. First is Jammy Time. I had this going in my diffuser in the hallway and I love Jammy Time. I love it in the laundry, I love it in the wax. It was perfect in the pod. This lasted a long time. Granted, I've been gone obviously, so I haven't had this going 24 seven, but this pod has been in that diffuser for six weeks, two months, a long time. So I got through a jammy time. I will definitely repurchase that. And then I also finished Bright Cider Life. I got this in the clearance um, section of the Scentsy website and it's still there for five bucks. And I think for $5, especially a scent that's very appropriate for this time of year, what a great, what a great deal that is. I think a lot of people really liked this bar. It's kind of a smokier cider, maybe. It's really, really good. I don't know if I have, I don't know if I have any more of these, but I really enjoyed that. And when I can get the pods for five dollars, that's when I really um, stock up. But now on to bars. I finished one that's not in the current catalog. This is Scarlet Woods. I have another one of these as well. Um, I got this either in the clearance or in a flash sale or one of those two things. And it's just a sweet woodsy scent. Like it's wood, but I think it's got like a touch of cranberry or some sort of fruit to it. I melted this in Tennessee when we were hiking. So my trip to Tennessee was over my birthday, I wanted to be somewhere on my 30th birthday. And we went to Spencer, Tennessee, which is a super small town, but Tennessee has a lot of beautiful state parks with waterfalls and the fall foliage was amazing. And we had a cabin in the woods, like a log cabin with like the porch swings, the bonfires. It was very rustic, very cozy. You know, we played card games, we watched movies, I read a couple books, we went hiking during the day, we made uh, s'mores. It just was perfect. It was such a perfect trip. And so I brought 
Scentsy bars with me. One, because I think Scentsy travels very well and I've been trying to work on some of the fall winter catalog scents here and there just to make sure I'm trying everything. Um, obviously it's a long time now before the catalog is going to change, but I wanted to, you know, make sure I'm trying stuff so that I either can club it or get more of it, whatever the case may be before the catalog changes. This one isn't in the catalog, but this is one that I brought with me to Tennessee because of the name. So a lot of these bars actually brought with me, um, to the cabin because they were just very fall, woodsy, cozy cabin. So this one was pretty. It was a good performer. Don't think it's anything that I need again, but it was a nice, a nice scent. That one is Scarlet Woods. I need to find the pile here for my empties. Next, I finished Frosted Vanilla. This one is in the current catalog. I don't know if that's going to focus. <laughs> this is in the fresh category. And so Frosted Vanilla is a wonderland of sweet vanilla bean, birch bark, and frosty air. Okay, this one, really, really pretty. I did not bring this one with me. I melted this one here at home. And it really is just a birch and vanilla scent. It's beautiful. I'm trying to be really particular about what scents I put in my club. I'm actually trying to get rid of scents <laughs> from my club. Um, just because I think it's, it's too big and it's too out of control. So I'm not going to put this one in my club. However, I did pick up a couple more bars of that. So I will have a Scentsy haul coming in the next couple of weeks. I think if I get just a couple more bars of this, that will be enough. It's a really pretty scent. I'm enjoying it. I don't need to constantly have it. So I got a couple bars and that will be, that will be plenty. But it's just a nice outdoorsy, kind of like you're at a campfire but you have the birch trees in the in the background. A very pretty scent. I enjoyed that a lot. Next is Blackberry Spice. This one is in the spice category. This says rip blackberry bundled up with cedar wood and fresh clove. And that's exactly what this is. It is kind of spicy potpourri with the blackberry sweetness in the fruit. I enjoyed it. It's not one that I need more of. I didn't find it to be anything amazing, but it is a very pretty blackberry scent. Next is Fall Feeling. This is one of the 10 new releases for the catalog. This is fresh blood orange, sugared cranberry, cozy up with juniper sprigs and a dash of sparkling clove on a perfectly crisp day. This one I took with me to Tennessee as well. To me, this smells very, very similar to leaves from Bath and Body Works. Very similar. I absolutely love leaves. It is my number one favorite Bath and Body Works candle. Love it so much. But just for that reason, since it's so similar, I don't think I need to get more of this. But I really enjoyed it because to me, it's very reminiscent of leaves. I don't need to club it for that reason, but really enjoyed that one. And then uh, lastly for Scentsy, this is definitely maybe the winner of the of the week or the three weeks. I'll have to go through my winter wax and see, but I loved this one so much. And that is Autumn Road Trip. And I think I like this because now I have a scent memory with it. So I melted this the first day we got to Tennessee. We went on a road trip in the fall. <laughs> so it just seemed like a fitting bar to bring. And just with the cabin and the foliage, it was perfection. It was the perfect scent to bring, the perfect scent to melt. I just wanted to have more bars of this and not, not melt other things because I loved this so much. This is, let me read you the notes first. Take a tour through crisp harvest apple just picked on anjou pear and a forest of towering silver oak. So apple, pear, and oak. This one, I love it. I really, really enjoyed it. And now I have the scent memory of it, but I'm not going to club it because I feel like it's a scent that I only would melt at a specific time of year. And that is October, November, and that's it. I need to be better about, you know, like I said, not putting stuff in my club like that. Let me just get a couple of bars for next season and I should be good. So that's what I'm doing. 
I'm just going to pick up a couple more bars of this and that will be perfect. But this is beautiful. You really get the fruitiness and the oak. It almost reminds me of like an acorn or something. But now when I smell this, I just think about that cabin already. And it's just, I love building scent memories. That's my favorite part of fragrance is when you smell something that reminds you of a, a place, a time, and an event. So I know that this bar will give me that memory for years to come with my 30th birthday and that vacation. Just so, so good. So I loved, loved, loved Autumn Road Trim. Is that it for Scentsy? I'm pretty positive it is, unless I have missed something. So let's move on to vendor wax here. Try to organize as I go. Got one from the Melted Moose. I'm actually melting this one right now. This is Michael Myers. This is Caramel Tobacco Palo Santo and What the Carb. Really nice. Um, I have this melting currently. It's a little lighter than I would have liked, but I feel like Jackie nailed this blend and this is kind of what Michael Myers, like what I envision him smelling like. Like the tobacco, the caramel, the muskiness, the sweetness. I don't know. It's really, really pretty. If you guys have not tried the Melted Moose, please do so. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. You're going to love it. Do I have any other melted mousse? I don't think so. I do have a couple of things from Dexter Pores. Actually, quite a lot from Dexter Pores. Um, let me dig here and get all those scents out. Hopefully I got everything. But a sample, which was a very generous size sample. I actually didn't know at first if this was something that was purchased or if it was a sample because it was two pretty big pieces. Diane sent me all of these 30A, did I say Dexter earlier? I might have said Dexter pores, but all of these 30A scents um, as a gift. So thank you so much, Diane. So I've been working through the, through the items and, and testing them out. So caramel apple, I've got this actually in my kitchen at the moment. It's really, really strong. Juicy red apple, caramel, vanilla, cinnamon, brown sugar. Smells like your quintessential caramel apple. It's great. Strawberry dream. Strawberry pound cake, zucchini bread, cream cheese frosting. Yum. The zucchini bread is really good. And I, I know I like her zucchini bread based on this scent as well as Maybe it was the last empties or the empties before that. I had zombie bread, which also had zucchini bread in it. And I loved that. That was such a powerhouse. So 30A, in my opinion, does a exceptional zucchini bread. Apple cider donut. Apple cinnamon fried donut. Can you go wrong with apple cider donut? Just such a pretty scent. Really enjoyed that one. And then this one, oh my gosh, pumpkin pecan waffles. This was amazing. Maple syrup, golden waffles, pumpkin spice, and brown sugar. I can't smell too much of it in the clam anymore, but this was a powerhouse. It was just your quintessential sugary, super sweet pumpkin pecan waffles. And sometimes that's a little too cloying for me. But in this scenario, maybe maybe if I don't over melt it, maybe that's the key for me is to melt it here and there, but don't overdo it. This was a stunning, stunning scent. I love that. Okay, I think that's all from 30A. A couple of samples from different vendors from Lavender and Speckles. I have Weston's Bakery. Honestly, I'm not sure what this is. Apple Cidery to me it's what i get but this is going right now in my kitchen with the caramel apple from 30a as well as franken cake from zape this is like a banana zucchini bread or something really good odd combination maybe but my kitchen smells divine okay next i have scoopable wax melt a lot of different vendors here in this empties. Just one, and that is Carbs with Ghoul Friends, which is Carbs and Ghoul Friends. It is just 
like a bakery yeasty bread heaven. This is amazing. Hi, Brad. And it's strong. It's a powerhouse. I loved this. I do have more of this. Um, I'm sure all of you guys know, but Scoopable Wax Melts is owned by Kathy, who is Jenny Oaks, the owner of Rose Girl's mother. So if there's a blend that Scoopable makes, Rose Girl should make it or vice versa. So you could get Carves with Ghoul Friends with either Rose Girl's or Scoopable Wax Melts. And it is a beautiful, beautiful bakery. One from Sassy Girl Aroma in Fear of the Reaper. I got this because of the scent notes, but also because of the name. Um, I've mentioned this many times here, but I love anything that's Halloween named. I love anything that kind of just puts you in that mood, that vibe. And Don't Fear the Reaper is my favorite song from Blue Oyster Cult. And so when I saw this blend plus the scent notes, I knew it was one I had to have. So this is pumpkin pecan waffle, cornbread, blackberry, and candy corn. To me, this was just a really beautiful, sorry if you, the camera just shook rip, is, is laying against the, uh, the tripod. It's just a really beautiful, sweet blackberry. I get a hint of a sweetness or like a pumpkin pecan waffle or something, but the blackberry is really what stands out. Just a beautiful blackberry bakery. Really, really pretty. A good, strong performer in my home. Loved that. From Kay's. Finished a couple of clams and a loaf. I love Kay's. I have an ongoing list of scents that I want to pick up from her. That one day I'm just going to place a big old order. But I've been keeping a list of stuff I want to try. First is Lumberjack contest. This is a house blend. I do have more of this. This is spicy leaves, flannel, and Palo Santo. Mm, it's so good. I love Palo. I love leaves and I, I do enjoy flannel as well. And just the blend of these together is the perfect fall day. Mm, yum, yum, yummy. Pumpkin Pumpkin Sugar Donut, the Bath and Body Works type. I think Carla does amazing at dupes. Um, she has a lot of Bath and Body Works dupes on her page. And I've, tr I've tried quite a bit of them and she nails it every time. This is Pumpkin Donut Rolled in Sugar and Spice. Just your quintessential donut with pumpkin. Cinnamon sugar. It's not spicy. Beautiful. Really enjoyed that one. Great dupe if you're looking for a dupe. And then Autumn Flannel. I believe I have a couple more of these as well. Autumn Flannel is Vanilla Bean, Caramel Almond, and Smoky Wood. This one is a little smokier. I think if you like tobacco type scents, you would like this one. Really, really pretty. It's smoky. It's slightly sweet. It makes you think of like a flannel that's been like you're outside and you have that flannel around a bonfire and you get kind of that smokiness to it. Oh my gosh, it's so, so good. So I do have more of that. And then I finished a loaf of pumpkin peanut brittle. You guys, I've had this loaf for probably three years and just every fall I melt some of it and then the next fall I melt some of it. This is the Bath and Body Works type. This is unbelievable. And even it being, it's two or three years old at least. It has performed so well for me. It is so good. I need to get more of this. It's already on my K's list. Probably not in a loaf. I think since I know it took me this long to get through this loaf. Because I'm only melting it at, you know, very specific times of year. That I will pick up probably a couple clamshells of it or maybe like an eight ounce cake cut next time. But there is nothing better than pumpkin peanut brittle. It's sweet, it's salty, it is so good. And this one was a really good performer, like where you're ready to change your wax but you can still smell it and so you feel like you shouldn't. That's how long this went and I love when scents do that. 
Then I've got just three, I'm surprised, just three from Teddy B's. I do need to make an effort to go through my Teddy B's. I have quite a big pre-order coming and I don't know if you guys watch my collection, but I have quite a big stash and I wanna make sure that the fall blends I'm using this fall that are like a year old. So I've got like five or six more blends that I absolutely have to use this fall that I really feel like I need to get get working on because I don't want them to carry over to next fall. So if these fit that category. First one was a souffle in its fall, y'all. So this is Marshmallow Fireside, Sweet Cinnamon, Orange Zest, Leaves, Brown Sugar, and Vanilla. Great performer, not my favorite scent. It's just a little too spicy for me. It was pretty and I enjoyed it, but it's nothing that I thought I, don't drop it. It's nothing that I thought I would need more of. Witches Be Crazy for Apple Spice. We all know that Witches Be Crazy is like the best scent ever and then blended with the apple spice. So it's birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla blended with crisp apples, brown sugar, cinnamon with a buttered crust background. That's a lot of words. On cold, I really felt like I got a good mix of the apple spice and the witches be crazy, but on warm, I felt like I just kind of got that apple spice and maybe like a hint of the witches be crazy. So I wish that the witches be crazy would have come out a little bit more, but all in all, it was a beautiful, enjoyable scent. I liked it. Just, I wish that the witches be crazy would have been a little more prominent on warm, but I love witches be crazy and I will pretty much try anything blended with it. It's so good. And then lastly is creep show. This is definitely one on my list to melt in October in particular because of the name, the scent notes, and this is a year old. So this is pumpkin sugar donuts, marshmallow fireside type, sugar cookies, creamy cheesecake, graham crackers, marshmallow cream, and a hint of sweet spice. Really, really pretty, just beautiful bakery. I feel like you really get the pumpkin sugar donuts most, but I also got this like cheesecake graham cracker note. Really, really good. I don't think I'm like dying to get more of it, but I enjoyed it. it lasted about eight hours in my house at about a medium, medium throw. And I was really glad to try this one. This is one that I kind of got on a whim and I'm glad that I picked it up. Okay, that's it. That's everything that I've melted over the last three weeks, but now I am home. So the melting is gonna get get picked up again. But I really hope that you guys enjoyed seeing everything that I have finished over the last couple of weeks. So what's coming next haul wise, I did get my lavender and speckles pre-order in. I also got a super tarts pre-order and then I just made a Scentsy haul. So I will have those three hauls coming over the next week or two. But I hope that you guys enjoyed. Have a great rest of your day and I will see you in my next one. Bye.